Hello, I'm Matt Wingard, State Representative for House District 26, which includes the communities of Wilsonville, Sherwood, Bull Mountain, and all of rural Washington County out to Gaston. I'm also the co-chair of the House Education Committee, and that's what I want to talk about today. I have with me a parent who, go, who is a child, Ben, attends a charter school in Oregon, Anne Marie Gurney, thank you for being here today. Ben, tell me what your favorite subject is. Math. Why math? Because I like to solve the problems. Wonderful. Are you good in math? Yes. Fantastic. So, Anne-Marie, your child attends a charter school in Oregon. That, what that means is you get to choose the, the school that your child goes to. Why is that important to you? I have really enjoyed being able to choose the school that they go to and be able to really customize my kids' education. So, like in this situation, he's really good at math. We can go crazy with math, and he can really pursue that instead of having to be very cookie-cutter sort of curriculum. He can really flourish in areas that he really enjoys. Wonderful. I appreciate you both joining me here today. It's for parents uh, like Anne Marie and children like Ben that House Republicans fight every day to expand choice and options throughout Oregon. Uh, we have a number of bills that we brought this session to try to raise the standards in our public education system and to provide more choices for parents. We had a little bit of a setback this week when House Bill 2287 died on the House floor. That was a bill that would have made it just a little bit easier for charter schools to get started in the state of Oregon. Unfortunately, we still have some very powerful education groups in the state that are dedicated to pretty much not doing anything and maintaining the status quo, so we'll just have to keep fighting to bring change to Oregon and we're not giving up. So some of the things that are in legislation that we're bringing this session uh, is a bill for full funding of charter schools, a bill to allow for multiple authorizers of charter schools so that, uh, say for instance, uh, community colleges could start charter schools. There are a number of community colleges that have expressed interest in being able to do that. Um, we also have a bill to uh, create real clear uh, A through F grading of our public school buildings so that you as a parent or a citizen would understand very clearly how your local public school is performing. As House Republicans, uh, our bills are designed to increase standards in our public education system and as I said to increase choices for parents. As the co-chair of the uh, House Education Committee, I get visited a lot by people who have all sorts of ideas about what to do within the public education system. I have a little sign in my office that asks three questions, and that, those are really the three questions that I bring to every bill. First, does it increase accountability or does it increase bureaucracy? Will it increase choices for parents and children or control? Does it encourage innovation or uniformity? And basically for me, if the answer is yes, you know, on the first side of each of those questions, then I'm likely to support the bill. If it's going to increase bureaucracy or increase government control or increase uniformity, then I'm likely not to support the bill. Uh, as, as say it again, as House Republicans, we are dedicated to trying to reform Oregon's education system so that it performs at a very high level and offers lots of different choices to the parents in this state. Thank you.